ねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねねおー、パラッ。ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ボンテキーデーダーデーダーデーダーデーダーデーダーデーダーデーダーデーダーデーダーデーダーデーダーデーダーデーダーデーダーデーダーデーダーデーダーデーダーデーダーデーダーデーダーデーダーデーダーデーダーデーダーデーダーデーダーデーダーデーダーデーダーデーダー Okay, no, we all guessed wrong. I mean, I think everybody was guessing, <laughs> guessing Ledry <laughs> Salica. You know, cause, cause Olive's in here and the banner kind of hinted at it, but no, we wrong, we wrong. Oh, but he looks so good. Man, what is his art? Jesus, who drew? Why am I saying who drew this? Hino Shinosuke. What the heck? This is one of the best looking heroes in the game, period. He does, the art is so. This looks like a Manga Cuz art, like from some shonen manga. Kind of reminds me of kind of like Kingdom Hearts a bit too. It's weird. But not because Kingdom Hearts has super big hands and whatnot. I think it's just because of his gauntlet. But he looks so good. I can't believe it's Leaf. To be honest, I 100% thought it was just going to be Celica, so. Anyways, Archer Leaf is probably going to be related to Alm. Or in terms of stats, he's gonna be behind in stats, of course, because he's he's cap. But hey, that's still pretty. That's still pretty impressive. Um, colorless leaf, uh, pair up water. That's all we need to know. All right, let's start breaking down what he is. He come. Okay, number one. First thing that caught my eye, he comes with S strength. S strength, if you guys don't know, is super good for things like tempest trials. Why every round, or it's actually good for chain challenges as well. But after every round. He heals 99 HP and his special cooldown count is minus one. He has this on his、um, base form in the game as well. It's a very peculiar and interesting skill. It's really just good for Tempest Trials. Most times you replace it for every、uh, general game content. So I'm surprised it made its way back here. But it makes sense. Because he also has attack res push. At start combat, if unit's HP is over 25%, grants attack res plus seven. But after combat, if unit attack, deals five damage to unit. Which makes a lot of sense because 25%. Of his health, he is at. All right, let's skip ahead real quick. 40. He's at 40 HP. 40 HP. That's 10 HP. So he can go all the way till 10. Wow.、Uh, that makes a lot of sense. So if S Strength and Tack Res Push in Tempest Trials, he's very, very powerful there, just from that perspective.、Uh, defense Smoke, Defense Minus 7 on foes in two spaces of target through their next actions after top combat. That really just saves you a pan, which is nice.、Um, the tag will are endangered and.、Uh, Pan is hot. That's basically all you need to know about that.、Um, but, all right. but let's get to the actual important things. Meister Bogan. Oh, thanks, Cody. Look, catch I'm pretty sure this already showed up a few days ago, but hey again, m e m s Oh, it did? But thank you so much. Did this actually show up a few days ago? I'm not even sure anymore.、Um, but let's read it Meister Bogan, effective against flying foes, inflicts speed minus five. Wait. I didn't notice. Effective against flying foes, inflicts inflict speed minus five. Unit attacks twice. I didn't notice it was a brave bow. Oh, wait. Actually, it's not, is it my fault that I didn't notice he was a brave bow? Did he just kill him in one shot? Oh, no. Oh, okay. Before someone says, hey, Nims, you're so dumb, you can't notice it's a brave bow. To be fair. Leaf fires the second shot so slowly that I thought I just blinked and the other archer shot, and then he was still loading up his arrow. It's not my fault, it's his fault. It's animation. Alright, 
Now that we've established that I am not slow. Um, it is a Brave Bow. Wow, that is crazy good. Nine Might, so it's just like just like Reinhardt and Dire Thunder, just like Owen. All right, but instead of being a magical damage, it is physical. Uh, additionally, of course, being a bow, it's affecting its flyers. And additionally, when you under player's control, unit gains of unit issues combat. Focus can't make it fall attack. What? So is this saying if a player is using him, he cannot be doubled as long as he attacks? What? Oh, no auto battles? No auto battles, no AI using him. I see, I see, I see. So, oh, hey, Libs, welcome back. Poggers. Poggers. Thoughtful face. Uh, what? You're, you, you doubt? This is pretty cool, honestly, but... Okay, that's really interesting. I've never seen that in, in this game thus far, but it does it does incentivize playing him on But at the same time, the, the hero seems to be made for like Tempest Trials or something, right? Right? But you take that away, though in Tempest Trials, not many things will double you or survive this. So I guess that's fair. It doesn't really change too much. But it, I guess for like a Cav line, for example, in Aether Raids, though he would be a, um, ideal for that, you know, being legendary and all. Uh, it would work on Water Seasons, of course. But... Yeah, I guess to prevent a follow-up attack, if you just kept that at all times or on initiation, he would be kind of overpowered. Because a brave hero that can't be doubled is is very deadly. If they don't kill you in the first place and it, with attack res push, they can probably sponge a hit. Wow. Anyways, um, very good bow. Very interesting uh, idea here by IIS. I am okay with it. I, it's interesting. I, I want to see how that works first, but... It's just weird because I feel like he's perfect Tempest Trials. Anyways, Neurin Zeal. Zeal? Neurin Zeal. If unit initiates combat, grants another action to unit after combat. Is that Gale Force? Uh, once per turn. When special triggers inflicts restricts movement to one space on unit and pair up cohort through their next. And pair up cohort through their next action so you can still use a pair up ability but you can you would only be able to move one. Ooh, wow i don't know how to feel about wow what the heck all right two things right away chat you got to realize this because he always doubles one two if he doesn't get the kill and they hit him back three he instantly goes in yours and zeal and he can continue the fight which effectively means you can fire another two shots off in most scenarios, four shots from Brave Bow uh, with attack res push backing it up. That should get a kill. Very, very powerful. Another perspective on this. It isn't hit and run, though. It isn't, like, officially uh, the best use of Gale Force. Like, for example, if you used Ellie Wood, right? Ellie Wood with his uh, Blazing Durando or Tibarn, and you do a Gale Force build on those guys, they go in, attack, they run out. He can't do that. He can go in, attack, trigger this, and only move one space. But the flip side is you trade five cooldown for three cooldown. Very interesting. It's also the first time ever in this game a range hero gets to have ability like this. Range heroes cannot use Gale Force. Very, very interesting. Huh. I don't know how I feel about that. It's going to be max SP, and it's going to be... Oh shit, I just realized he's really good for pair up. Um, for allegiance battles, I mean. Because if he can strike, if he can strike and he backs off. Sorry, if he can strike, trigger this, switch, and if it's dance or something, or back off with that extra space, it does make a huge difference in allegiance battles. Because this doesn't affect the pair up. I mean, they are affected in that they can only move one space, but they can still switch. It could be very powerful. Oh, I just realized. I just realized why Mr. Bogan couldn't have the prevent the foe from making a fall attack. Because if he attacks twice when you can attack, he just gets new your How do you zeal. think hell compared to um? How do you think hell compared um or do you mean heal compared to all oh, oh, oh my god? I understand now. Okay, um Alm is anti-armor. Alright, let's just be clear about that. He's not purely anti-armor, of course. He's not 1.5 effective against damage, but he bypasses defense, so he's really good against armor. Um, also will have a greater first strike, so he can get the shot uh, kill in one shot. Leaf, though, will literally get two shots at once, so he'll probably get the kill in, in two shots, but it won't really make a difference. 
I think the biggest difference in terms of those two will just be Alm being better for general gameplay. Alm special is just very useful. So here's what I see. If Leaf can't get the kill off, your Ruin Zeal doesn't do anything. For Alm, there is virtually nothing he can't kill. His specials, Lunar Arc, and his bow, it all just comes together so well together. It just... He won't struggle. He will always deal damage. Leaf, though, we, it's, it remains to be seen. But he has attack res push, so he'll hit hard. I don't know, man. I think Leaf is incredibly powerful. He's one of the most interesting heroes by far right away. Uh, he's the first ranged hero to have... Well, it's not truly Gale Force, but iteration of Gale Force. He has a Brave Bow, and this Brave Bow prevents your opponent from making up a fall attack. So you can only get hit one time, which works perfectly for Neuron Zeal, because that's three hits. So he can right away triggers it if he can't get counterattacked, which means he probably finishes the fight off. Additionally, that ability only works when he's under player control, so when you're using him. So all battle doesn't work, AI doesn't work. Very interesting. Uh, also, because he keeps S-Strength, he's really good for Tempest Trials, and Attack Res Push will keep getting uh, renewed, renewed every round because of S-Strength. And of course, Defense Smoke is just a great addition to it. Because if he attacks twice... I mean, he can technically use Heavy Blade, but we don't know if his attack is high enough. But he does have Attack Res Push, right? And you could just home cap him. So... Yeah, if he triggers Neuron Zeo and then Defense Smoke, and he after he Defense Smoke something, he could probably get a second kill off too. It's a very interesting and impressive hero. So yeah, I, I'm going to wait for his stats, but the skills, this is immaculate. He's insane. And he looks awesome too. One sec, I'm going to double check. Flick speed minus 5, unit attacks twice, even if Bow initiates combat. I, I, I did not talk about that, did I? Damn. He's actually a pretty good close counter hero then, too. If you do close counter advantage, and just like, just like Mr. Schwitz, Sword Heart, just like Keaton, these vantage builds mean he, means he strikes first, and he should be hitting hard because he has his attack res push. Because attack res push still works with vantage. You can be under 75% and still be above 25%. That's a 50% 50 gap. So yeah. He could be ideal for a lot of modes and just be very powerful for clearance. The only hindrance is because he's stuck as a legend hero, water blessed. He's not ideal for ether raids because you can't use him every season. He's super good. Alright, let's quickly clear this up. Real Muzz, whatever. Hector is good. He... No, actually not really anymore. He's he's still Legend Hacker's still good, but honestly, just use Ventral Fighter. Um, he might just be Ventral Fighter. Lucina's probably just the the peak of this. Yeah, Lucina's probably just the peak of this. Blue, blue. I mean, Lucina's very good. Um, in Ether Raids, good, good offensively, good in everything. Lucina's Legend Lucina's just amazing. Legend Zero is amazing too. One of the best, if not the best, refresh in the game. VA Ike is good too because he comes with DC and Special Fighter. So, and he comes with a pretty damn good sword too, but you can learn DC and Special Fighter off him. So very ideal fodder. The only other character that does that is Naga. Uh, Nagi. They have the same three letter names. Uh, Palace is really cute. She comes with Disarm Trap, but it doesn't really matter. Larissa's really interesting, but not very good. Uh, Ranolf. Ranolf's not as good as Leaf in this game, unfortunately. But he's still pretty interesting for Beast teams. Uh, Felicia's pretty cool. Uh, Alm. Um, I'm still the best archer in my mind until we see the stats for uh, Leaf. But yeah, he's going to be hard to beat. Alm um should always have a BST advantage because he's infantry versus cav, so. And Alm's um stat spread is amazing anyways. Well, Tiki, very good. Holy crap, this is a good banner. Chat, is it me or this banner is just ultra good? You go colorless. Colorless, you have... I'm just going to say it now. He's going to be at least top three archer in the game. So Leaf... Alm, um, so two of the best archers. Fallen Tiki, one of the best dragons ever. I mean, she is a dragon, armor dragon, but she doesn't really have the armor dragon restrictions because if she's with dragons or alone, she gets to tra she gets to move two spaces and plus four to all stats. I believe that's the case. Super good. And of course, blue strong too because you got legendary Zura, legendary Lucina, and last blue hero. Oh, Marissa. Oh, Marissa's not that good. Huh. Green's actually technically not bad as well, because Hector and Felicia are pretty damn good still, but they're not that that good, and Ronald's not, not that that good. And finally, uh, Ike. Ike. Oh, Red's kind of weak, actually. I'm not going to talk about but Ike's the best part of that. Oh, okay. So for me, I think it's uh, Colas first, then Blues, then Greens, then Reds. All right. And this is available on 29th to the 5th of November. 
But yeah, good luck, guys. Oh, uh, that's your banner. Very interesting. Did I miss something? But yeah, Colas is amazingly good. I don't think I missed anything. But yeah, that's your banner. Um, I didn't see this coming. I, I thought it was Celica. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm, I'm not disappointed. Because, oh my god, this is one of the most interesting and unique heroes we've got in the game so far. It's fresh. And to be honest, they've been really buffing up archers recently, if you guys have been thinking about it. But yeah. Uh, good luck on Leaf. I'm going to go with Legion. We're going to talk about this some more.